Hi everyone, I'm Lori, and welcome back to the Way of Positive Change. Happy full moon, full moon in Virgo today. It is March 9th. Listen, this morning I was thinking, you know, many of us readers have asked what is the reason for the COVID? Um, what purpose does it serve? What is the reason? We've asked the tarot, and I thought, let's use the Chinese uh, I Ching, the Book of Change. I know many of you are in the metaphysical New Age world are familiar with it, although it's been around for centuries. Um, it is Asia's farmer's almanac. Um, it was originally used for farming and things of that nature, seasons and, and, and other and governmental issues. Um, so I thought, let's ask, okay? So, and you know that, you know, for entertainment purposes only, YouTube is trying to get everyone that says the name. Okay, so I asked, so first place, if you're new to the I Ching, uh, they used to use sticks and they would throw the sticks uh, six times. And, um, but we use pennies. And so I use the I Ching workbook by R.L. Wing. That's my favorite. I've used it for as long as I can remember. I think I started using it when my youngest son, well, anyway, it's been over 30 years. So anyway, um, you can use coins and you throw them, you ask your question. So I did, what is the purpose of the coronavirus? And I started throwing the coins. And um, in the book, in the workbook, you'll see that there's several different, there's four different combinations that can come up of the coins when you throw all three. And then you make a hexagram. So I, I'm not here to teach you how to use the I Ching. Um, if you want to get into it, you're more than welcome. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, I threw it. Um, and you have changing lines, so you're usually going to get two different hexagrams. And you draw from the bottom up, so the lines that you get from the result of the throw of the coins, you make the lines, and then if there are dots next to them, then they change. So if a broken line changes to a solid, and a solid changes to a broken if it's on the changing lines. So the first hexagram I got is 59. So, you know, I don't have these memorized, so I'm just going to read this to you. All right, so number 59 is reuniting, if you can see that. So, all civilizations have experienced that powerful moment in time when the separatist factions among the people dissolve into the general enthusiasm and commitment to a common cause. Although rare and extraordinary, these times are deeply significant in both the development of civilization and the well-being of the individual. Um, we must all hang together uh, in this ex exceptional time of reuniting, or we shall all hang separately. So, all cultures conduct social, political, and religious rituals. They strive for spiritual togetherness in order to break up dissension and reunite the hearts and minds of the people. Take whatever steps are necessary at this time to reunite yourself with your social milieu. It is time to break up that which divides, for isolation brings discord and blocks creative energy. You must devote yourself to a cause or task of some real significance in the world or perhaps participate in an event that brings together the members of the community. There should definitely exist an emotional atmosphere within this mutual partaking. All right. Um, and so, because there are changing lines, then we go to 17. So I'm gonna go back to the book and I go to number 17, hexagram. And I thought this was really appropriate because it did start in Asia, and I wonder how many of them have used it. You know, I'm sure the elders have, right? All right, and so um, number 17 hexagram is adapting, okay, adapting. And um, so when autumn approaches, all of life that continues to survive begins an adaptation to the season. The pelts of animals begin to thicken in anticipation of the winter. The bark of the tree increases, oh, excuse me, anticipation of the winter. While the seeds of plants scatter themselves in autumn, winds to await the spring. 
The bark of the tree increases to protect itself from the cold, while insects may burrow deep inside to hibernate. By adapting to the forces, life is protected as it rests and restores itself from new activity. So we're supposed to reunite and adapt and work together. Adapting is knowing when to act and knowing when to rest, when to speak and when to be silent. The nature of this hexagram is compared to the time of autumn, when activity ebbs and rest begins. This is not a restraint, for there is no stress involved. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Um, it is instead a peaceful, accepting frame of mind willing to adjust to the existing forces. You should now concern yourself with doing the best you possibly can under the circumstances. Leave the control of the situation to others, even if you feel that you possess the strength to alter events. It is in your best interest to remain low. True power lies in serving others, and with such behavior comes progress and success. In worldly matters, only leaders who adapt their vision to the sediments of society will be followed. That is a keynote. So you know who isn't following that. So some of the followers will not follow him, right? Okay. If their ideals are too far from the popular mainstream of reality, if they are not adapting their product or service in the interest of times, then following them can lead to danger. However, if their goals are harmonious with the times, you may commit yourself to their leadership. When you follow another, you may relax and restore yourself. So, this is indeed interesting. I thought I would do that. Reunite, do your best to adapt, get your groceries, stay out of uh, places that have you know thousands of people. My brother, of course, lives in Seattle and they're limiting their activities. Um, I hope all of you are doing well. We're just going to breathe our way through this and do the best that we can to adapt and realize um, that this is there to unite us. I think that's uh, that was very special. I wanted to ask, I did the last video, please check it out on, um, it came up uh, that anti-inflammatories would be uh, important to, to do and burning things like um, cloves oil and uh, using juniper berry cloves oil, thieves, um, thieves oil, those kind of things uh, was also helpful, but mostly what came up was the anti-inflammatory things like garlic, green tea, um, Kukurun and turmeric thing. Now the anti-inflammatories, you know what they are, guys. All right, but I wanted people wanted me to ask um, uh, about elderberry, so I'm going to ask a quick, do a quick throw, and uh, let's see. Will elderberry help us be successful? It's an antiviral. Antivirals will they accept? Will they help us um, our health be good and help us avoid? Um, be successful in avoiding being ill with a COVID. Okay, elderberry and other antivirals. Okay, antivirals. Will they help us? One more spread. This and one more shuffle this way. Elderberry and other antivirals. Oops, there we go. Okay, let's take a look. And if, uh, oh, you guys, I just want to remind you, I'm still doing the $25 readings um, for half hour. You can email me. It's for subscribers only, so please subscribe if you're going to take advantage of it. Thank you very much. I'm enjoying meeting you. Email me at the way of positive change at gmail, and uh, let's set up your appointment. Okay. All right, so uh, there's conflict in this uh, in the beginning. Okay, there's a conflict of information. Uh, and so this is possibly caused uh, people to stock up um, on the Four of Pentacles. Mm, death card, Wish card, Queen of Cups. That's what we got with those uh, thieves' wheels. Oh, okay, alchemy. So the magician. So they're giving us a yes. Um, it does help uh, kill it off before it can get started in its infancy. Um, and uh, 
and other people that are intuitive know this and they get their wish. Um, remember to share, okay? Four of Pentacles doesn't share, so we need to share. Um, Eight of Cups, isn't that funny? So maybe people walk away if they can't get some. So remember to share, you guys, but this is a yes. Uh, both of these are, this is the woman of the earth, you know, the Pentacles, so she uses um, herbs and such to help her. Uh, all right, let's see. And then someone wanted me to ask about zinc. Tomorrow I will ask about mushrooms, okay? Um, I have a couple doctor's appointments tomorrow, so wait. I'll try to fit it in in the afternoon, okay? Okay. All right, let's see. What about zinc? Taking zinc. Even Dr. Oz was, I think, on the Today Show this morning early and said zinc is helpful. What about zinc? Is that also something that would be helpful to take? The way we're supposed to take it, remember? Zinc. What about zinc? Does zinc, will zinc help us as well? So if we use a few of these things, we can do good, right? Oh, I'm gonna stop right there. If you guys have used the chain before, um, let me know. Let me know what you think about the results that we got. I thought it was really auspicious and really important information. Otherwise, I wanna come on to share with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, some, and someone said, oh, you're shuffling the same way. You guys saw me, saw me shuffle two different ways. Okay. All right. Mm, zinc doesn't, let's see, so far, not seeing the staying power in that. Uh, it might have to be used along with something. I'm mean, not getting the same. I don't think it, it's. I mean, I think it's a helpful thing to use, but I don't think that that, that is primarily the most important thing. Here, I got a better uh, response with the magician. That's definitely a yes. So, um, zinc over time, I think, can help us be strong, but I'm not getting that strong, uh, like the magician card or the ace of cups that I got with the um, anti-inflammatories. Okay. All right, you guys, hang with me. I'll try to get to the mushroom question and uh, a couple of the remedies that were mentioned. Please leave me a comment. We're going to be dealing with this, I guess, for a while. So um, I have plenty of time to ask about other uh, home remedies. Okay, you guys, enjoy the full moon. Remember uh, to put out your, crystal, your crystals to cleanse them and um, recharge them. Um, in the full moon light, okay? It should be extra strong because it's a super moon in Virgo. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day and leave me a comment and I'll be talking to you soon.